<laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. Now we'll do our best joke. Yeah. Ooh, they got predictions already for tonight's show. I actually got predictions <laughs> about what, Dad? About the topics. About the topics. Mm. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, hey, let's uh, see if they come if it's right. So, guys, welcome to the Hot Box Show. Tonight we're joined by Robert Getz, the fit dude, who's going to be helping us a bit with our poll, and a very, very relevant stoner dynamic that I think is often overlooked and maybe even against the flow. But as always, welcome to the Hot Box Show. And as always, we'll be talking... Lang Dank! Yo, it's been a busy week for everyone. Whoa, Happy so quarter busy. to Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be sitting here with y'all. Yes. And y'all. Mm -hmm. And y'all. Mm -hmm. Let's get grilled. Hey. Okay. Grilled her. Challenge accepted. Let's get grilled her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for coming on the show, Robert. Thank you for having me. It's always quite a mission to get to the hot box show at this time of night, really. There's traffic and stuff and cops and stuff everywhere. So, well done for making the effort. But to, to be sure, we didn't know each other three days ago, four yes. days ago. You yes. reached out to us on Instagram yes. and said, Brew, I'd love to be in the hot box show. Yes, yeah, sure. And that's kind of as easy as it is to get onto the hot box show yes. most of the time. We've got people backed up on, the, on email now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give everyone a question as to why do you think you should be on the hot box show? And you had one of the most interesting answers. Well, I'm excited because it's my very first time to meet a real life dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. we get before we get too ahead of ourselves, I think you all, Oaks, I haven't even looked at the comments, but I'm sure you saw right on point. So in this week's episode, uh, the poll is, is weed a performance enhancer? Uh, our guest for the evening is, Ro uh, sorry, Robert. And then I'm sure you Oaks have been guessing in CBD and N. Canapex HQ. Ooh, we're going to talk about Canapex. Uh, then we've got a, a, an online hangout with Stoner's Guide to Cape Town, aka The Society, aka The Weed Show. I think these oaks might even be streaming now, so again, we're going to dial in in about 20 30 minutes with these oaks and get a bit of, of those iry Cape Town vibes. And then in this week's Shuttle Lit, we'll be taking a look at card grinders. Are they any good? Dun, dun, dun. Ah. And then in Grain with My Buds, how to tell the good, the bad, and the ugly pips. We came prepared, Oaks. <sighs> Just a couple pips. We're going to go through them all. That's it. <laughs> and then. No, no, that's all weed seeds. Yeah. It came out the door panels of Swazi taxis. <laughs> and then please remember to enter Insta your gram on Instagram. Good Hashtag place to do it. Show. Excellent place to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, uh, hashtag Hot Box Show, you, the best picture this week. High five from all of us and a shout out. Robert will get to pick the winner. But for now, the reason Robert's here is because he's kind of a fit guy. And something that's very stoner stereotype is that stoners are unfit and lazy. So, we're asking the question is weed a performance enhancer? Faux show? Hell no. So so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think the reason that Robert made such an impression was firstly his Instagram. We've put the link there. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've got a history as a professional fighter, a professional mixed martial artist, and a fitness trainer. No, I haven't. I haven't no. I'm not a professional fighter. I haven't, oh. I haven't been professional. Okay. But I've, I've worked with professionals and I've, I've experienced sort of what it takes to. Mm. Fighter, so, and I've worked alongside all the athletes and stuff. So, and I've and I've been using the substance, so I know that it doesn't affect you negatively in that regard, and it actually does enhance you. Like with your recovery, there's a lot of benefits to it. So. For your recovery, yeah. Well, you mean after you finished everything? Yeah, yeah. So after, ah, oh, just so to relax. Been, uh, yeah, so mm. you can sleep longer. You can, oh, so sometimes okay. if you wake up in the in the morning. You can't fall asleep again or whatever. Okay. You can just hit a bong or whatever and you go back to sleep. You get so some you more recovery use, time. So you're not it's ripping a bong in the car park before time. you walk in? No, no, no. You can. You do? I have, I have before. People and, do? Okay. And I still do, yes. All right. Then you go. Do you go to the gym at all? No. Have you, have you been in your life? I mean, is it like a phase you went through? I went once and I hated it, so I never went back. Yeah, no, I didn't dig it at all, really, really. But I don't blame you, Brick. Fucking family, stuff, kids. Also, and I, I like, you know, I like physical work, so I prefer yeah. just my day must, must work me out. 
Wait till you get to 60, mate, so you forget where you are, so you have to keep going. Back every, <laughs> That's why when you're walking, there you go. Day. So you, you take your phone and it says, you've completed your daily steps at halfway through the day. Like, fuck, really? <laughs> <laughs> I keep right. forgetting to put that thing on. Your phone's going to manage your life in the end, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So you, you're cutting pretty much straight to the point. You're saying for you, weed is a performance in answer. Yeah. Because one, it gives you the ability to recoup. But do you think like pre-performance it's an enhancer. So if I ripped a bomb and went and did something now, I think, I think you have to practice. Yeah, you have to be in that. You have to be good at that zone that you're in to use cannabis. Maybe if you're a beginner trying to do a fitness course and you start cannabis and then go and do the fitness course, it might not end well. But if you're in that fitness course in your head, for, yeah? yeah, I don't know. I don't do fitness courses, no, not physical ones anyway. Yeah, I guess for me. It's just gets me in the zone I can be actually I, I feel like I can train longer I can just maybe smoke a pot and I'll run further and faster than what I would or I'll just do more than what I would normally do and to, and to get to the level you are with martial arts you train literally every day yeah yeah so it, yeah, so it doesn't stop me from doing anything and that takes a big chunk out of your life yeah this is like a serious commitment yeah so yeah it, it is it is yeah Okay. And you, performance enhancer? You don't have to run run around the plots or anything. What about like mental agility or performance? The head of the curve there, George. What do you reckon? Yeah. Does it get you in the zone? I mean, you did shitloads today and you were ripping zone. bongs. Yeah, I've been ripping bongs since I got to the office. Yeah. It does get me in the zone, but I did also used to gym a lot. Um, before I fell pregnant with child number three, the lot on the key, I had a six pack of my very own. Thank you very much. Wow. Yeah. And now you've got a one pack. No, it's not even. It's, it's, it's double pack. It's double, double pack. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm working on it though. I'm working on it. Have we got any good comments there, Dad? Anyone we should say hi <coughs> to? Right? We've got the usuals here. Dussie's there. 420 Fag over the gardener. Sure. We've got Delta nice. 9 Jack. We've got natural bliss. What are they saying here? Um, go with Gardner. Absolutely. I used to use I used cannabis to lose thirty five kgs, and I can testify it works in the gym. Thirty five. Yeah, See, I would smoke <laughs> before swimming because mm. I do. I go twice a day. Yeah. So in the morning I I swap between cardio and yeah. weights, and in the evenings I just swim. I do like eighty four lengths. Yeah, he's. I he, just I get a stoned as fuck and then hit the pool and wow. just swim and yeah. swim and swim and swim and that's where I got my. That's what I used to do. I used to smoke mm. and then go to CrossFit. It also or opens up your lungs. <coughs> well, they say medically it's a bronchial dilator if you're yeah. asthmatic. Yeah. Tell me, all the guys that are on your Facebook feed, all the guys in those fit guys in the crew of yours yeah. in the ring, do they do the same or is it just your personal no, no, choice? No, no, it's just my personal And it's it's just your. You do yeah. any of the others? use cannabis i do know a few yeah. people that, that but it's not like are very fit so it's not for everybody then no no, no okay no, fair no, enough sure. fair enough i but suppose yeah. they'd have to be a bit more discreet as well depending on where they are in the game because if they're going to be tested or not yes. rather not stick your hand up and go hey test me that's one downside of it is that it, it stays in your system for a very long time yeah, so right. for a professional mm. athlete they will mm. they smoke it. Yeah. It's because, because your body, your body needs, needs it. Yeah, yeah. it does, and I'll go into it because I'm um, possible. So, have, yeah, you ever, have you ever had to be tested it. to do no. a competition or no, no, something? No, no, no. no not at all. Just Here's just a nice no. question from the from the, the chat about that. Um, it's from James Sachs. Mm -hmm. What does this about WADA and USADA banning to missing for smoking weed? Uh, What's your thought about that, I think? Yeah, and also, what do you think that, of ESC and MMA SA situation? I'll just start with the first one. Um, yeah, so to me, some Madiba, he got banned for two years just for smoking weed. So you got THC in your system. If water comes to your house, they say, okay, one you need to be tested. Water? Two years? Water. Who's water? Uh, water World water. Anti Doping Agency. Uh, World Anti Doping Agency. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So they come to your house. You, yeah. As a professional athlete, you sign a. Yeah, you yeah. have an agreement Remember. with water. Mm. So if you can't have THC in your system as a professional athlete. That's the only name with dope in it, because dope is such a dope word. Because that feels a, cut. No, so, it's if a slow you, if you, release. so if you smoke weed, you you are doping, yeah. Yeah. and then you can get banned. Uh, but but yeah. CBD is is exempt from this. Yes. So what a lot of cock that. What a lot of. So if you smoke, so if you compare it to alcohol, you can you can probably get so drunk or whatever. Yeah. And then you, 
in 24 hours that that's out your yeah. system but with weed you're gonna stay so they got to right. they got to change that somehow they got to right. get it off yeah. so because so, you, but you, what is their view is it a performance enhancer then mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. In their yeah. mind as well, yeah. because that's the only reason to take it out It allows you to train harder game. than normally, that's the thing, because it, like you were saying, it, it lets you train harder because you yeah. can. You can push yourself further, you can go you burn, longer, you, you can, slower. it helps, sorry? You burn slower. Burn slower, um, all of those um, things, and they don't want you, they want you to basically... Um, I'm, I'm sure that result. was the least of their worries, even considering in those days it was a performance enhancer, they knew nothing about it. Yeah. I've got, you sent me the wider prohibited substances thing today. The following cannabinoids are prohibited. Natural cannabinoids, e.g. cannabis, hashish, and marijuana. Wow, that's descriptive. <laughs> wow. So, oh, really? what, what is that? All Whoa. of it. And the Everything, following really? cannabinoids are prohibited. Synthetic cannabinoids, yep. e.g. Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinoids. Synthetic, eh? Yep. And other cannabimetrics. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. And yet you're, you're a deep shit, bro. You're wanted by the Interpol at this point. So it's all banned. It's all banned, but yet you get CBD protein powder. It says yes. exempt cannabidiol. Yeah. That's what it literally says. Okay. Cannabidiol is exempt, and it's like this. I don't think it's even in the same typeset. No. <laughs> they just slapped it in a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Footnote. Oh, oh, by the way. <laughs> oh, by the way. <laughs> and what was the second question, bro? <laughs> Well, the second question, well, the lead on to that was, and what does, what do you think of EFC MMA South African situation regarding cannabis and... I think it should, uh, cannabis should be taken off the, the banned substance list. It should, it yeah. should be prohibited because in the fight, I don't, maybe for the, just for the fight, they shouldn't be high. Okay. Yeah. And then, but before and after, I think it should Pre-training for training the day before you smoke your weed, you do your training, you train harder because you can. Wake on the day, you, yes, you don't smoke because that's just the rules of the sport. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, as soon as you walk off the ring, smoke. Yeah. Yeah. At I mean, the end of the day, they that's don't exactly do. go yeah. fight. Then they, if, well, well, there we go. Uh, unless exactly. they're in a the pub, but I mean in the ring. Oh, well, they don't win in the pub. <laughs> you can so. train hard, but you don't want to sort of perform what, at your highest level. What are the, what are the, the limitations on alcohol before you enter a ring? Is there, are there any specific times you can't, like a pilot, like 24 hours before or... Because this whole thing about if you can smoke it before, you can smoke it mm. after, but it's like, oh, no. but you can't do it during. Mm. So how stoned, the, the, somewhere there has to be a cutoff or not. Mm. Who cares? If you, if, if, what are you going to do? Go in the ring and jeopardize everything by two, between plays? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Or drunk or whatever it is. So is there really an right? alcohol limit or is there anything written down about booze? Do people go in there with a babble ass and nobody cares? Well, I don't think someone would do that. No. no. <coughs> but... Uh, it's like an unwritten rule, I think. I think and, uh, and, and many of your teammates or anybody in the gym, do you have a sociable beer? Or are people mostly teetotal because they're just doing a lot of fitness stuff? Yeah, I think just through the hard work. Just, and weed just makes you stronger. Weed does, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you, you feel tired, you feel weak. Sometimes you just smoke some weed you feel strong. And, and what sort of weed? What, what sort of weed are you scoring? Yeah. Any weed that's on the street? Oh, you got it. Well, well let's well, hit the dash cam actually. Let's check what's on oh, the dash cam. The dash cam. Yeah, yeah, the dank cam. The dank cam. The dank cam. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, firstly.